Hello, this is the guy who calls himself a crook, and today I'm going to be showing you one of my um, computer systems here. Um, this is a system from 1999. It's a uh, Hewlett Packard Pavilion 6635, and um, I'm going to be uh, doing an overview of it, um, the hardware, software, um, and all. So I got, so a friend gave me this computer, uh, back in, uh, November of last year, and, um, yeah, so, it's, um, it's got its original files on it, it was, I was not told to wipe it, so I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the original software on it, and, um, so let's let's take a look at the specifications here. It says, um, uh, features at a glance: uh, Intel Celeron processor at 533 megahertz. Um, it's a Mendocino chip. Um, it's a 533 megahertz, as you probably have seen. Um, it's better than my um, 300 megahertz uh, Celeron. Um, a Covington and my uh, 233 megahertz Pentium 2 Klamath. Um, but I think I personally prefer my Pentium 2 just because uh, it's more fun. Um, memory, 64 megabytes SD RAM memory. So it does have less than my other system, but that's not um, that's not too big of an issue since 64 megabytes is more than enough to run a Windows 98 operating system, which is what it has installed currently. Um, with up to 11 megabytes a allocated to video memory. So, it's basically got 11 megabytes of video memory, but I don't think it's dedicated to video memory. Um, yeah, so there we are. <laughs> so, hard drive, 10.2 gigabyte Ultra DMA hard drive. It's a Seagate. Um, 10.2 gigabytes, that was uh, quite a bit uh, back in the day. So, and you think about it, um, the hard drive, it's a, an IDE hard drive, so it's not even SATA, so, um, it's, it's PATA, or P-A-T-A, -A, um, Parallel Advanced Technology Attachment. Um, so, I can show you that in a minute, um, I'll have to open up the, the case here, and it says, sorry I'm really bad with the camera, but a CD-ROM 40 times max speed CD-ROM drive is up here, um, I it doesn't write, so because it's not a writer, um, but I do have other writers, so that's not a big issue. Then down here, it's a floppy drive, and in case you're wondering, yes, it does function. <laughs> this is my first computer with a functioning uh, floppy disk drive, and I will demonstrate that. Um, now let's take a look at the other stickers here. So here on the top it says, HP Pavilion 6635. Home computing powered for the internet. Design your own web page with the included Trellix web software. Um, it that it's still on there. The the web software is still on there. It's also got an, an installed copy of Microsoft Plus ninety eight. Um, so that's that's that'll be fun to see. Um, hardware certified year two thousand compliant by HP and NSTL. So yeah, it's ready for uh, year two K. So. Get back fifty dollars um, U.S. Uh, see store for details. I'm not sure what that means. Um, create your own jukebox with Music Match software. Yeah, I think that's. I'm not sure if that's still on there, but I do have a copy of the Music Match jukebox and my CD binder. So it's not just a PC. It's an HP. Yes, I do like this machine. It's a it's a fun computer. It's one of my favorites. Um. Okay, we can go ahead and look at the back now. Ugh, sorry, I'm really bad with the camera. Um, here we are, we have your power supply unit. Um, it's a, um, what is it? Uh, here we go. Uh, it's EC input, EC output. It's a, uh, it doesn't show the wattage on there. I might have to get one of those uh, watt meters to actually see the actual wattage, but here we are. Uh, yeah, I'll unplug these for a second since the computer's not on. Alright, so we have a uh, IBM uh, PS2 style um, uh, 
uh, keyboard and mouse ports. Um, you have your first USB um, universal serial bus ports. We have your standard serial port. We have your parallel port to the um, to the right of it. And uh, sorry, I'll plug this. Here's your uh, VGA port for uh, video to the monitor. Um, and this is your um, uh, audio out, audio in, and um, your microphone ports. Um, and here's your uh, game port. And I installed an internet card here, an ethernet card. So uh, it does have internet. Um, let's see how that works. Um, I'm going to plug these back in. But before we actually turn it on, I am going, sorry, sorry, I'm going to uh, show you the inside of it. Before that, I'll show you my uh, keyboard and mouse here. These are the original um, peripherals for the system. This is a, um, a Hewlett Packard um, track ball mouse. It's, an, it's a nice fun mouse. I'll get a mouse pad out here. I'll just steal it off of my other computer. Notice there's no scroll wheel. That's not a big problem to me. I personally uh, don't mind. In fact, I kind of even like it. So, here's how um, you can put your... Uh, is that a nice spot for your finger? Because uh, for left click and right click. Um, so, yeah. That's a nice, uh, nice mouse there. And here's the original keyboard that came with it. Um, see, you've got... Um, the internet, search, help, standby, volume, control, and mute button. So you can uh, control the volume of your computer from there. It's a tactile keyboard, so it's you press. You have to press pretty hard. I personally like that. A lot of people don't. But here, here's your uh, classic Windows symbol here. Um, you know, I'm gonna press a few keys just to so you can see. noise it makes. That's a pretty nice noise in my opinion. I'm not sure if you'll like it. And then we go to the monitor. Um, this is a uh, ViewSonic E70 um, CRT or cathode ray tube monitor. Um, There's different from the uh, classic LCD liquid crystal display in the fact that there's no uh, liquid crystals behind the screen and there's no backlight. So since, since there's a backlight and then liquid crystals that form all the colors and um, pixels um, or pixels I don't know how to say it yeah. and um, but this one there's a um, notice how, how it goes back there's um there's this big glass um, tube and then it goes all the way back to the end where there's an electron gun that splits the three colors red green and blue or RGB um, to uh, form uh, an electric um, it doesn't display with crystals it displays with electricity um, Maybe wrong, but I might be wrong in what I'm saying, but I'm pretty sure this is how it works. Um, so yeah, that, that's how they used to make these monitors. This is a particularly good quality one. It's got a 1024 by 768 pixels um, screen resolution, and um, it's got a 120 hertz um, vertical uh, refresh rate. So. Yeah, um, I'm going to uh, now um, open up this computer so you can uh, see the inside. So, with the magic of video editing, we'll be right back. Alright, um, we're back now with the, um, the case open, so let's take a look inside. It's kind of dark, let me see if I can uh, tip it over here. Alright, um, vehicle going by, so here's, um, the power supply, I think we can, oh, it's a, um, 100 watt, uh, power supply, so, it's not, it's not that much, it doesn't draw much power, um, some people think old, older computers draw more power than newer computers, so, I mean, if it's a laptop, then, of course it, it will, but, but generally, it's actually, draws less power since um, 
my other computer over here has 282 870 watt power supplies um i'll do a demo on that computer eventually um i will show it starting up at the end of this this video though so um for a, a cool factor and um so here let's uh, take a look at this so here is our um parallel ata um connector here um, and here's our Molex power connector. Sorry. Um, so here, here's a better view of the Molex uh, power right here. Um, and this is your, uh, this is for another floppy drive uh, power. And um, I forgot how floppy drive. Yeah, floppy drives have a different uh, connector because that's a power. And um, and here's our uh, whoa, sorry. Here's a uh, our hard drive. Sorry if you can't see, but. It says a Seagate, and it's fragile. Now you don't want to drop any of these. Um, our floppy drive is right here, and our CD-ROM drive is up here. And uh, you can see our uh, PCI uh, bus down there. And um, here's uh, our uh, Ethernet um, card. So, yeah, let's see if I can see the processor. Oh gosh, it's all the way under there. So, I'm not sure if you can see the cooler, since this case is not very big. Um, but, yeah, there it is. That's the, um, CPU cooler over there. Sorry if you can't see it, but, um, that, that fan thing is your CPU cooler. And under there is, um, our, uh, Celeron, um, 533 megahertz processor. And there's your uh, chipset. Um, controller, I think. Um, I'm probably wrong. And there's our, uh, here, let me get something to point with. Um, okay, okay, shoot. Um, sorry, um, but here, let me just point to it here. Uh, right down, the, I'm not sure you can see it, but right here, over down here is our, uh, is our speaker that, that beeps, um, when there's a problem. In this case, the problem is, this um, computer's uh, clock or BIOS battery is dead, so it thinks that it's January 1st, 1990. And um, I do need to replace it, but I can't find the battery because the case is so small. I don't want to um, demolish this computer just yet. But, um, yeah, so why don't we, uh, I'll put this back together and um, let's turn it on and see what it does. And we'll be back shortly. It's time to turn the system on. I hooked up a uh, bass amplifier um, as a speaker so you can hear the um, this sound output from the computer. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh, I'm sorry if the uh, monitor looks uh, bad, but it's kind of hard to record a CRT. So let's go ahead and start this up. Phoenix uh, basic input output system 4.0 release 6 copyright 1985 to 1999 Phoenix Technology Limited all rights reserved version uh, 1.09 <coughs> CPU Intel registered trademark Celeron trademark processor 533 megahertz okay 63 megabyte system RAM passed um, there should be 64 but I think it was only 63 last time I checked um, 128 uh, kilobytes of cache SRAM passed. Uh, system BIOS uh, shadowed. Video BIOS shadowed. UMB upper limit sigma address uh, 857. I'm not sure what that is. Um, some things I don't know. Um, mouse initialized. Okay, that's good. Fixed disk 0 ST 310212A. Yeah. AT ATAPI, um, CD-ROM, Samsung CD-ROM, SC140, yep, warning, error, check date and time settings, yeah, the battery's dead, so, F1 to set up, F2 to resume, let's go ahead and take a look at the BIOS setup, because why not, um, FIA, Phoenix BIOS setup utility, yeah, it says January 1st, 1990, um, I don't think,
think we're in 1990 right now. And 1.44 megabyte, three and a half. That's exactly right. Um, primary master, primary slave, primary master. Okay, this looks good. Advanced setting items on this menu to encourage values may cause your system to malfunction. CPU type Celeron, 333 megahertz cache RAM, 228 kilobytes. Um, installed OS, Windows 98, yes, Windows 2000. What have it, what will you change it to? Windows 95 and other. Right? We're on Windows 98, so go ahead and do that. Reset configuration data, no. Primary video adapter, PCI. EGP, okay. You can do EGP or PCI. I don't, I don't have anything in either of those, so. PS2 mouse auto detect. Alright. Large disk access mode, DOS, other DOS. Let us see USB support. I don't think. Right. Power savings customized. Customized. It's been time. Just time out or zero. Time. Uh, power on. Alright. Disabled. Maybe we should turn this on. See what happens. Okay, yeah, um, this is probably good. Power on self test. Okay, and let's go ahead and resume. Let's see, hard disk light. Um, it's indicating that it's active. Go ahead and hear it. Microsoft Windows 98. I'm pretty sure that if it has Microsoft in the corner, it's RTM. So I think this might be the RTM version. Oh god, sorry if that's flashing for you, but. Microsoft Plus, whoever um, owned this computer previously, uh, should like to customize their computer. Alright, here come the sounds. Daffy V Shield. And that's a nice startup sound. Move the cursor over here so it'll stop making that noise. Let's wait till um, the hard drive light out. Uh, stops flashing. It's flipping out. That that hurts my eyes. That's the only thing of CRT is that hurt my eyes. White background. <sighs> I do have additional software that I installed on here. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. There's no gate wallpaper. Apply. Yeah, it's much better. <laughs> All right, sorry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the software I've got. So, here's what we've got on here: AOL free trial. That's came with it. Install America Online free trial. Oh gosh, sorry if you can't see. And those are pictures that whoever owned this saved to there. Um, one card shot, short. Excuse me. Outlook um, Express. Uh, Retry America Online 8.0 Setup, Survivor, Total 3D Home Demo, 
search the internet. AutoCAD or for or fourteen I installed that. Um, robotic system robotics invention system two point oh for programming up. Um, RCX um, Lego uh, programming. That's a Finale Notepad two thousand three. Um, Microsoft Outlook um, uh, Spin Log Zero uh, WinZip and I installed Foot Simulator ninety eight. Um, so yeah, um, I can show you a few things on here. So we can go ahead and do my computer here. Here's our uh, system. Here we go into the hard disk here. Spin right five. Not sure what that is. Um, yeah, when you right click it. Uh, Makes that noise. It's been right something I found on here. Alright, um, distributed dot net cruncher client. Go ahead and shut that down. Um, let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate the CD drive over here. Alright, I'll just put in my um, original Windows 98 CD ROM uh, CD. We can, um, let's do cool video clips. Uh, what do you want to see? Let's see him. Um, combat. I'll show a little bit. I don't know if they're there. subject to copy. It's war. Calling all flight simulator pilots. Assemble now for this highly anticipated air combat game. Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator. Combining all the realism of Microsoft Flight Simulator with the ultimate thrill of World War II air combat. Now, you can fly one of eight fighter planes that made the... Uh, no. Let's well, not do a stu Um, let's do, uh... Let's do a... Home pub. Whoa, look at this calendar. Thanks, I designed it myself. No, no, look at all the events we're hosting this month. No problem. Got everything we need right here with Microsoft Home Publishing 99, part of the Graphic Studio line. Oh, Home Publishing 99. Yeah, it's got all the publishing tools we need for... Let's do, uh, for all you, uh, younger viewers, let's do Barney. Now appearing for the first time on your PC... Barney! It's good to see you! Let's play! Get the best of Barney and the quality of Microsoft on three super de duper new CD-ROM titles. Point to where you want to go and click. Designed with the help of experts in preschool education, Barney and his friends, like BJ, Baby Bop, and Professor Tinkerpot, will treat your children... Hi. I don't want to get in trouble. With the copyright and all, so I just want to show like a bit of it. Um, so there we go. Um, we can look at the basic information here. Um, our, uh, let's tape in MS. flashing bad. Um into semester. Six so megabytes of RAM. Fifty nine percent system resources free. Windows managed swap file on drive C five thousand ninety three megabytes free. Um Internet Explorer five point six point zero point twenty six hundred. Um yeah Microsoft Windows ninety eight. Windows version 4, basically. 
since Windows version 5 is Windows 2000. Um, all right, um, what's another thing I wanted to show? Oh, yes, um, is my internet, um, plugged in? No, just a second. Okay, with the magic of video editing, right. we'll be back. We are back now. Um, so let's go ahead and open Internet Explorer. Um, on the Explorer tab. Okay, oops. Alright, let's open up Internet Explorer. Alright, um, let's type in this Google. Oh wow, it loads it, although it's basically HTML. Let's go ahead and search Gmail, so I can get Gmail open on here. Oh, Yahoo, why is it going to Yahoo? Let's try this again. Um, let's go ahead and search um, Windows. Great. Yeah, we need Windows 10. We need Windows 10 for this computer, so they can definitely run. How to upgrade. You can still download for Windows NT for Windows NT, Windows 10 for free. Here's how. You can um, pirate it, which isn't good. So don't do that. <laughs> um Let's go ahead and go to images. Oh. Certain things can't be displayed. Oh, now it can. Alright. Here. They don't want Windows 7, we want Windows 98 to Windows 10. Videos. Alright, let's go to, um, let's go to find a YouTube video that's not pirating Windows. Let's just go to this one. Come on. Right, I know a website we can go to. UXW Bills website. Oh. You can uh, go here. So it does work. So we have more information. We can go here. So yeah. There we go. We can go to there. Um, now, for a final impression, let's do a Flex Simulator 98. Okay, I'm not very good with one hand. Alright, let's, let's uh, create a flight. Um, select aircraft. Um, which aircraft? I always do the Boeing 737, just because I like it. Okay, select airport. Let's do, um, uh, and regions. Let's do uh, San Diego Airport. So let's go to uh, British Columbia. Oh yeah, it's in Canada. I thought. Wait, wait. I didn't select the U.S. Did I? Come on. Sorry. I'm looking through the camera here. San Diego. 
that it? Huh. I just passed it, didn't I? San Diego, alright. Let's do, um, San Diego International. I've actually been there before. It's nice. It's a night. Let's have it be a daytime. Let's start the flight. Let's go full screen here. GPU is not very laggy at all. So, there you have it. A main overview of the system. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, yes. I promised a um, cool computer startup at the end, so I'll do that. So, but first, let's, let's watch it shut down. Oh wait, I forgot. <laughs> Here, I was gonna show you the floppy drive. Oh. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll try to start it up again. We are back with the demonstration of a floppy drive. So we have our floppy disks here. Let me open the case. It's good. Be delicate. It's so delicate. Because it's because um they've got a uh, they've got a film inside that holds data only 1.44 megabytes. Let's go ahead and put this in. Now we can go ahead and go into the three and a half floppy. So there isn't anything on here. I can demonstrate putting something on here. Um, let's take something like um, I don't know. Let's take a bunch of these uh, system files. Let's make sure this is under 1.4 megabytes. Zero bytes. Properties, how many? 639 kilobytes. Okay, sorry, I have several bytes. But, uh, Alright. Let's go ahead and paste it in here.
floppy noises. So now they're on the floppy disk. So, and it's not unlike a CD, you can actually delete these files. Yes. So. And now it's empty again. And now, can we eject it from the computer? No. Let's see, can we format it? Quick. Alright. Let's start. Let's format it. No. Okay. Now let's go ahead and eject the floppy disk here. And that basically sums up the floppy drive. Well then, I'll show you the cool startup of uh, my computer then, so I can uh, upload this video. See ya.